before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button, then turn that notification button on right now. Wrestling may be one of the toughest careers to find success in and also takes a huge toll on your body, as it's often to have some sort of required exit strategy, which would be a career option other than wrestling in case the need arises. Finding success in that business, a definite plus. Here are the 10 wrestlers who found success in life after wrestling. One of the best wrestlers in recent memory, Edge was one of the most well-loved performers ever to be employed by WWE. Initially finding success for himself in a tag team with his brother Christian, it would only be a starting point for the Rated R Superstar, be it by being a part of the TLC matches alongside Christian, the Hardys, and Dudleys, or going on to form one of the most fierce tag teams with Randy Orton as Rated RKO, Edge has done it all. He had an immensely successful singles run as well, when he became the World Heavyweight and WWE Champion on several separate occasions, feeding with the likes of The Undertaker and John Cena. An injury would unfortunately force Edge to announce his retirement from the wrestling business early in his career in 2011. Since then, Edge has shifted his focus to Hollywood and carried forward his success there as well. Being part of numerous television shows as well as a few films, Adam Copeland has become more mainstream than ever, not to mention his famous podcast with former tag team partner Christian. At age 44, there is only one way for Edge to go, and that's up. Stone Cold Steve Austin was the face of a changing company, as well as a changing generation of superstars. He was the chosen one, and his impossible charisma paved the way for Vince McMahon to bring his company out of the shadow of WCW and to the forefront of sports entertainment. Austin's popularity and his feud with McMahon remain legendary, and his high-profile matches with the likes of Bret Hart, The Undertaker, and The Rock remain to be some of the highlights of wrestling history. His retirement from wrestling seemed premature, but issues with his neck and numerous other reasons prevented him from continuing in the ring. Outside wrestling, despite having the Stone Cold podcast, Austin ventured into films as well. A part of numerous movies, Austin had an extensive filmography to his name with the likes of Expendables and Knockout under his belt. Stone Cold may not be the most famous name outside wrestling, but he is certainly well known and that is not changing anytime soon. When Chris Nowinski first appeared in WWE, it was with all the promise in the world. He was young and a graduate from Harvard, and it looked like he could go a long way in the wrestling business, and it really seemed as though nothing could stop him. The reception he got from the fans was not all that great, but then they did not get the most time to get to know him either. He had several feuds with the Dudley Boys and was initially partnered with William Regal. He would have several high-profile matches and even hold the European title. He would also have the distinct honor of being the youngest hardcore champion in WWE history. But during his short-lived career, Nowinski would suffer from several energies, but it was the concussion that he suffered that forced him to retire early from wrestling. He suffered from post-concussion syndrome and would be risking further harm if he continued. But it was his work with concussion victims that helped him make a difference. He raised awareness about concussion among American football players and talked and brought the issue to the lab and helped explore it with science. Yeah, who doesn't like science? Well, I can tell you who likes science, football players do because he convinced many football players to leave their brains to labs after they passed away, which can help scientists to make progress in concussion research. He opened the Sports Legacy Institute to further this cause. Chris Jericho is one of the most famous wrestlers in WWE history. His role in wrestling is pivotal, as he influenced the wrestling industry to a huge extent, revolutionizing the business in ways that cannot be compared at this moment. The impact he made in WWE since his debut and his feuds with the likes of Chris Benoit, Shawn Michaels, and even Rey Mysterio are some of the best work we've seen from any wrestler. His recent appearance on the Wrestle Kingdom 12 pay-per-view only goes to further add to his legend. The match against Kenny Omega was his first for any promotion since he signed his deal with WWE back in 99. The fact that any WWE performer of his level can go from WWE to New Japan opens up the field for wrestlers all around the world and helps the wrestling business in a major way. Other than his work in wrestling, however, Y2J is not limited by his wrestling roots. His books have been bestsellers and he has been part of many TV shows as well. The fact of the matter is that his greatest success outside the ring comes from his accomplishments with his band Fozzy. They have released a number of albums, and their most recent one has received great critical acclaim, with a single Judas even topping the charts. Y2J may be known for his wrestling, 
but he is now one of the biggest mainstream stars to be having a working relationship with WWE. The first impression that a person gets when they see Brock Lesnar is that he is not a man to be messed with. If this is the first thought that crosses their mind when they see the Beast, their ability to identify danger is probably spot on. Brock Lesnar is not a man to be taken lightly, and the fact of the matter is that he is a deadly force and a legitimate athlete even outside the sports entertainment business. His original run with WWE was a short one lasting only two years or so, but it was a terrifying two years to say the least. He won numerous titles and was correctly called the next big thing by Paul Heyman. After he left wrestling and after an unsuccessful try in the NFL, Lesnar went to the UFC. He would receive titles and wins, defeating legends like Randy Couture. After this, he returned to WWE where he was a force to this day. But it remains to be that Lesnar is an established success outside the wrestling business as well. Jesse Ventura was one of the original greats of the wrestling business, even before Hulk Hogan was famous. His claims to fame in wrestling cannot be argued with as he is one of the undisputed legends. Since he retired, he has come back to the company as a commentator though. Prior to his wrestling career, he was in the military as well as a bike gang. After retirement however, he changed avenues. He became a radio talk show host before diverting his career into politics. He was briefly mayor of Brooklyn Park, Minnesota and then went on to become the 38th governor of Minnesota, a post which he held for four years. There has not been any lack of controversy surrounding the personality that is Jesse Ventura. His books and films have also put him in front of a vast audience. As many of you may know, Diamond Dallas came into the wrestling business a little late at the age of 33, but that wasn't going to stop him from becoming one of the most overstars in WCW as he had an immense career. The fans loved him and his natural charisma meant that he was always near the top of the card. His age never seemed to hold him back, but once WCW was sold, his loyalty to the company played a part in his failure of a run in WWE. Though he was able to have an amazing match with Christian during this time, he was the stalker who was spying on The Undertaker's wife. Despite his lack of success in WWE, DDP retired from wrestling a fan favorite and has lived up to his image of being an all-around good guy by using his time off to bring about positive change in the industry. DDP was able to get into contact with older wrestlers who had fallen into hard times due to substance abuse and where rehabilitation had failed them. He used DDP yoga to get them out of the slump, with the likes of Sean Waltman, Jake the Snake Roberts, Shawn Michaels, Chris Jericho, and Scott Hall all praising DDP Yoga for the positive effects it's had on their lives. John Cena isn't a name that can never not be associated with the WWE. He is and always will be their face and led WWE out of the Attitude Era and into the Ruthless Aggression Era. He was and has been one of the best and possibly the most famous wrestlers of all time. There is no current WWE fan that does not know his name. Cena was the guy who looked like he was there to stay, and after a decade plus career in WWE, his success is well deserved. However, when it comes to success outside the business, that comes more recently. Cena is not a person to take anything lightly, and anything he does, he does it with the goal in mind to do it perfectly. Cena has recently taken on a part-time role in WWE and instead has focused his attention on films in Hollywood. With more in films being produced where Cena has a prominent role, it is only a matter of time before John becomes even more of a mainstream star than he is now if that were possible. When Dave Bautista went away from wrestling with an eye on working in movies, very few people actually believed in him. Known as the animal inside the ring, people thought he was too one-dimensional. His role in Triple H's stable evolution and his later matchups involving members of the group specifically Triple H brought him mainstream attention. He had great matches with Shawn Michaels and Rey Mysterio, however, no one knew that his best work was waiting for him outside the business. Take a step into Hollywood and Batista has become a force in the cast of the James Bond movie as well as a major part of Guardians of the Galaxy as a huge member of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Batista is the star that no one saw coming but is now looming large all over Hollywood with an obviously bright career waiting for him in the land of the silver screens. The Rock is the most famous wrestler of all time. He rose to prominence in WWE during the Attitude Era as the corporate champion, but that was not all that he was. He had a way about him, and his ability to speak was always a notch above others. His mic skills and natural charisma saw him rise to the top of the company, 
and his matches with the likes of Hulk Hogan and Steve Austin, and much later John Cena, were some of the best of all time in terms of mainstream attention. The real success for The Rock, however, was in Hollywood. He entered the industry through a small part in the Mummy movies, but he would not be restricted to that role. Last year, he was the highest paid actor in Hollywood, and you would have to be hard pressed to go to a film in the theaters that he was not a part of. Be it his roles in Jumanji, Baywatch, Fast and the Furious, Moana, San Andreas, or his simple ability to win over any fan with a smile, The Rock is the wrestler to have had the most success outside the ring of all time. And these were 10 wrestlers who found success outside of wrestling. If you have any more, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear about them. Thank you so much for watching Wrestling Hub. I hope you're all having an amazing day, and I will see you later with more wrestling videos.